we would like to calculate the tension in the string which is uh, attached with a mass and who is moving in a vertical circular motion at different locations. For example, we want to calculate the tension when the mass is at the bottom itself. Let the body at that point is moving with a velocity v1. We know the tension always acts towards the point of suspension and it creates tightness in the wire. We also know that the weight of the body always acts in the downward direction because acceleration due to gravity always pulls it in the downward direction. Anyway, being the body is in a circular motion, there will be always a force called centripetal force. Anyway, centripetal force is never an outside force. It is the effective force acting towards the center which is creating the centripetal force. Therefore, in the given situation at the bottom, tension is acting towards the center. Mg is acting away from the center. Therefore, T minus Mg is nothing but the centripetal force at that point. Why we have written plus T? Simply because it is acting towards the center. As centripetal force is a force acting towards the center. All the forces acting towards the center shall be treated as positive. And all the forces acting against the center shall be treated like a negative. So we can call the tension at this point at the bottom of the circle could be written like m v1 square by r where v is the velocity at the bottom and r is the length of that string and the weight mg. Now let us consider some another position at different locations we want to write the equations for the tensions. Let us consider a point P who is making an angle theta with the vertical. At that particular point we would like to calculate the tension. Anyway we can again say the tension there also always acts towards the center. The body is here, mass is here. Therefore its weight always acts in the vertical downward direction. I can just extend the line and say this is also equal to theta. So I can resolve the mg into components. This will become the adjacent component mg cos theta. This will become the opposite component mg sin theta. Therefore it is very clear that the effective force at the point P acting towards the center acting towards the center of that uniform circular motion or the circular motion is T2 minus mg cos theta because T2 is acting towards the center it shall be treated like positive mg cos theta is acting away from the center it shall be treated like negative this acts like a centripetal force at that point so if the velocity at that point is v2 I can write mv2 square by r equal to t2 minus mg cos theta. Therefore, the tension at that point is mv2 square by r plus mg cos theta. Suppose now we would like to consider some another point say q. This q is at the horizontal position at Q. The only centripetal force acting is nothing but the tension T3. Right? There is no component of Mg acting towards the center because it is acting in the vertically downward direction and the point is in a horizontal position. Therefore, at the point Q, tension T3 could be written like if the velocity at this point is v3, I can write like m v3 square by r itself. Suppose you are having a point r at the top 
where the body is moving with a velocity v4 then its weight is acting in the downward direction and in the string tension is also acting towards the point of suspension that is towards the center so at the point r at the point r we can write centripetal force mv4 square by r is equal to the effective force acting towards the center here i have to write t plus mg why t plus mg is simply because there both the tension as well as the weight are acting towards the point of suspension therefore they can be treated like positive so tension at the point at the top is m v4 square by r minus mg so it is clear from this discussion that uh, if the body is having same velocity at all the points at the bottom the tension will be highest and at the top the tension will be lowest